Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you this afternoon? I could be better. Um, I left yesterday and uh, got to uh, Italy, Texas, to the Tiger Mart truck stop uh, right at um, 8 p.m. last night. Parked the truck and uh, grabbed a bite to eat at Grandy's, which is inside that truck stop, and went right to bed uh, after the video uploaded. Um, got up at 5.30, uh, checked the load, and left at uh, 6, and then uh, headed on down here. I got here at 1.30 in the afternoon, which I think actually is 1.29, which is 23 hours and 59 minutes after I left uh, for a Smith. Um, the drive down wasn't too bad. Um, until I got to Dallas uh, and then there was three major accidents and three freeway closures which really severely limited me um, I was trying to aim for the rest area in Hillsboro um, or even maybe the Gator truck stop which is just just south of there didn't happen the traffic ate up about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half of my drive time so oh well uh, got up this morning headed down here and um, Checked in and then got all my stuff off and sat and waited. And then about 45 minutes afterwards, they called me and they unloaded me. And as soon as I unloaded, I got a load. Um, I had kind of half thinking they weren't going to give me one. Um, but the pre-plan came through and then the load came through right back to back. And I was picking up here at LMS six steel coils. And I had to pick, pick them up before five. It's 5.30 and they just finished loading me. Um... The out of sight coils are not that bad. Um, uh, they're already secured. I just need to throw the tarp on it because I was securing them while they were loading. So I'm just kind of not really sure what I'm gonna do. I got two hours and ten minutes to uh, go on my 14, so I'm gonna tarp this thing. It's gonna take both six foot drop, four foot drops, and then I'm gonna head up the road to either the Pilot, the Flying J, or the TA one of the truck stops around exit 13 and find a parking space and go to bed. Get up in the morning and go home. Um, the load is going to uh, Central States in Lowell, Arkansas. Done that load before, not that big of a deal. However, it's not due till Tuesday, which is unusual. It's usually due on Monday, but I guess they're giving me an extra day at home. I'm not sure, sure. So I'll get home tomorrow afternoon sometime. Well, actually be evening. In the evening, because I'm not gonna get up at any early time unless I just have to wake up. Go home, it'll take eight hour, uh, 10 hours to get to the house from here. It's usually the drive with all the stops and everything else I have to do for road checks. Um, my student is gonna have is gonna join me on uh, Monday morning. Um, I guess uh, I left him a message, he hasn't called me back. And uh, hopefully he calls me back. Um, because he needs to meet me Monday morning at the truck park. So we can take off and get to Lowell so we can find a place to park. Because we can't park at Central States, so we have to park off site and then drive in in the morning and be there at seven because the appointment is at 7 a.m. So that's pretty much about that. Today's title is kind of uh, what makes the day a bum wrap. Unload was good, the loading was good. However, um, it took 10 years, roughly, of driving, and I uh, finally had a backing accident today, and I will be honest in saying it's not much of one. I'm not going to post any video or photos from the accident itself, uh, till, because safety wants them. Basically what it was is uh, LMS has got a bunch of weird doors, it's a tight place, and uh, the door I had to back into, 6B. Uh, it's really really tight um, so I did my swing around and I was all lined up ready for it I've done the exact same pull many times but just as I was backing up uh, somebody came up behind uh, one of the forklift drivers came out and I saw him so I slammed on my brakes because I wasn't sure where he was going and when I did my tra tractor tilted and I pushed the wheel over and I bumped a pickup truck that was parked right in the same spot it's always parked in um, 
with the bumper of the truck. So I scraped up my bumper a little bit. I popped the fog light out. And if you look at his truck, it looks like I bent the whole bumper off. Straight down. It's actually an even bend. But I couldn't have done it. And I haven't looked yet, but I'm thinking the video from my dash cam will show that that bumper was already bent. Because I looked at it and there is only one line of maroon paint on the edge of the rubber of that bumper. Just like there's one line across my bumper where his bumper touched. So, I'm not really sure what they're going to do about it. I have a feeling that it's probably going to be bad enough that there goes my perfect PFP for the month. I think you get 25 points for an accident. I'm not really sure. I forgot to ask the safety person. But I will on Monday. If that's the case, then that's three more months without a bonus. I'm not a very happy camper. I'm not a very happy camper at all because I'm extremely careful when it comes to stuff. And I was even looking. I even got out and looked before I backed like you're supposed to. So, oh well, crap happens. But uh, it's Friday. I guess I will talk to y'all on Tuesday. Uh, when we deliver. So until then, keep the shiny side up. 73s. See you later. Bye.